entered the service right out of high school. So that was 1996. Uh, I originally went in right after the summer program, did my basic training, end up spending just shy of 12 years in the military. I think it was 11 years, nine months. For the first five years, I started out as a private, worked my way up to something called an E5, which is a sergeant. Then I went to leadership school. I became an E6, which is a staff sergeant, and then eventually went to officer school. Um, then I became a first lieutenant, uh, sorry, second lieutenant, and I got my first lieutenant, I think in 2004, and then I deployed to Iraq as a first lieutenant platoon leader before we came back um, in 2006 and I stayed in for another two years. Right before I got my commission, that's when I left the military. So you had a couple military schools. Um, boot camp, as they call it, or basic training, was uh, the very first school you enter in military. It was broken up between two sessions. One is the basics of soldiering and physical fitness and military tactics. And the second part of that is called a specialty school or an MOS, where you go for a specific job qualification. My specialty school was in armor, so I ended up being trained on being the driver and loader and gunner and TC commander of one of the big M1A2 um, tanks. Uh, a leadership school that I went to did the same thing. Uh, um, a lot of physical fitness and then how to do leadership and how to kind of run platoon size, co company size elements. I've traveled to about 15 states um, through different bases, whether I was stationed there or was training there. Uh, it also gives you a great resume for world travel. I went to Bosnia, I was in a little bit of Croatia, only for a little bit, uh, Germany, um, Kuwait, and then Iraq before I end up uh, coming back to the United States. From 2005 to 2006, I was awarded two bronze stars, one with a Valor device, which just means that, that we were in direct, imminent danger, specifically engaged with the enemy, and we got to s basically save not only civilians, but other um, combat and arms uh, members as well. Uh, the United States military is the only military force in the entire globe that's 100% volunteer. And I think that says a lot. That tells a lot of people that this is not a forced thing and it's not something to do for uh, you know, money or honor or glory or any of that stuff. It's to be part of that group, to be part of that citizenship. And I, and I think that's neat to know that there's people out there that are willing to just volunteer, specifically for somebody they don't have any connection to or don't know, just on the premise of making that as a, making this a better place to be. It's a great life experience because you can take a lot of those skills and transfer them on to be successful in the future.